former House Speaker Mike Madigan, the longest serving lawmaker in Illinois history. Well, his time in Springfield has come to an end. In the past five minutes, we have learned his resignation that was to take place at the end of the month has taken place now, immediately. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov live. Dana, many saw this as inevitable. Yeah, you know, Brad, many people expected that Mike Madigan would resign from the state house a month ago when he decided not to run for House Speaker again. And he also has that dark cloud of a federal investigation hanging over his head. But in a statement earlier today, Madigan says he is leaving office at peace with his decision. For five decades, Springfield was Mike Madigan's kingdom. The powerful and longest serving House Speaker in the country's history, Madigan had tremendous influence over what laws passed, who got elected, and as the head of the state's Democratic Party, who got campaign money. We don't tolerate inappropriate behavior. But Madigan's fiefdom began to crumble last summer when he was implicated as public official A in a scandal in which ComEd officials admitted to paying out bribes and doling out jobs to those who supported the House Speaker. It's not good. In January, Madigan decided not to run for the speakership again, paving the way for Emmanuel Chris Welch's election. Congratulations. And fueling speculation he'd soon resign from the legislature altogether. It's impossible to know how much of this is related to some of the trouble that's swirling uh, and how much of it is related to it's, it's simply time. Uh, you know, older white guys are probably not the future of democratic politics. Says political science professor Stephen Caliendo, House Speaker Welch also was not surprised. He called me uh, late last night to give me a courtesy heads up. But Welch says their conversation was reflective and nostalgic, nothing more. So he didn't give you any insight into whether the timing has to do with ComEd or why he was resigning his seat now? He did not. Welch calls Madigan's resignation the end of an era. I think his legacy is going to be pretty clear that it's because of Mike Madigan that we've had strong, sustained, democratic leadership here in the state of Illinois. He touts Democratic-led victories under Madigan, like gay marriage. But critics, including former Governor Bruce Rauner, have long blamed Madigan for the state's fiscal woes. He has to take responsibility for the difficult financial situation that Illinois is in, and he probably gets to take some credit uh, for some of the good things that have happened uh, in this state in the last 30 years as well. In his statement earlier today, Mike Madigan said he was leaving office at the end of the month, but just about 10 minutes ago, as Brad said, we were told it was effective immediately, but it is not clear why the change and when he would actually leave his office. Now, he may be leaving the state house, but Mike Madigan is still the chairman of the Illinois Democratic Party. Speaker Welch would not say if he thought that Madigan should step aside from that post as well, but Stephen Caliendo believes that also a resignation from his chairmanship will likely be coming down soon. Brad? Mm -hmm. So Mike Madigan, a.k.a. public official A in the ComEd probe, of course, not charged with any wrongdoing, at least as of right now. He's in charge of the party, so he's going to keep that job. But he quits what he was elected to do because he lost a leadership fight. It almost seems juvenile, like, you know, if I can't be in charge, I'm going to take my toys and go home. Is, is that how this is being read elsewhere? Well, some may see it that way. You know, Mike Madigan himself did not elaborate on his reasons in his statement either. And as you heard the speaker say that they did not talk about why he was leaving now. There are many people who speculate that after being the Speaker of the House for 36 years in Illinois, that he would not want to simply go back and serve as a state representative. He's also 78 years old, so maybe he thought he had done all he could do for the state of Illinois. And as you mentioned, public official A, there still is that federal comment investigation. Some wonder if an indictment could be coming down sometime soon. But again, to be very clear here, Mike Madigan has not been charged with any crime and he maintains his innocence. Brad? Yeah, to be clear here, this is not the end of this either. Thank you, Dana Kozlov, political investigator. We appreciate it.